All right, in this video, um, a follow-up to the other one, we're going to talk about more properties of logarithms. And what we're going to talk about here are what are sometimes called the cancellation laws. And the cancellation laws are used for solving equations um, when your variable is trapped inside of a logarithm or inside of an exponential function. It says, suppose we have an exponential function, a to the x. It says if we take log base a of that exponential function, we simply get that value x back. And this is true for any value of x. Likewise, it says if we have a logarithm, log base a of x, it says if we take that number and we take a and raise it to that number, again, we simply get x back. This is only true if x is greater than 0. And again, that's just the stipulation because um, the domain of a logarithm are values of x greater than 0. So um, in addition to the other properties of logarithms I put in the other video, this is another one that you're definitely going to, um, you know, two, two properties you're going to want to know. So this one and this other one as well. So let's do some problems involving these. So, and all of these will simply solve the equation for x. So a basic one here. Um, suppose we had the equation 2ln of x equal to 1, and we're trying to figure out an exact value here. First thing you'll do is simply divide both sides by 2, and we'll get ln of x equals 1 half. Remember that ln is just a fancy way for writing log base e. So I'm simply rewriting my ln of x as log base e of x. And now I'm going to use this cancellation property, um, the second one that I put up here. If I take the left side and take e and raise it to this power, you have to do it to the right side as well. On the left side, by this cancellation law, it says whatever's inside the logarithm, that's what you're left with. So I'll simply get x is equal to e to the 1 half, or equivalently, square root of e, and that'll be my solution to this original um, logarithmic equation. Suppose we have the following problem. Suppose we have e to the 2x plus 3 minus 7 equal to 0. And again, we want to solve this for x. We'll do the same thing. Um, my variable is now trapped up as an exponent. I'm going to get the, the part, the term with the x in it by itself. And to do that, I'll simply add x to both sides. Or excuse me, add 7 to both sides. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my first cancellation law, and I'm going to take log base e of the left side. Well, if you take log base e of the left side, you have to take log base e of the right side as well. And you could just as easily write this as ln and ln. I'm just trying to emphasize that we're using the same base in each part. And on the left side now, it says whatever's the exponent, you'll be left with that. So we'll get 2x plus 3. And now I am going to rewrite log base e as ln of 7. And ln of 7 is just a number, so we'll simply now just solve this for x. We'll subtract 3 from both sides, and then we'll divide both sides by 2. And I'll get my solution that x equals ln of 7 minus 3, all divided by 2. Okay, so let's do, let's keep doing some more examples here. Suppose I have ln of ln of x equal to 1, and again, I want to solve this for x. Well, again, my variable is trapped inside of a logarithm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take e, and I'll take ln of ln of x and raise it to the e power on the left. I'll take e and do the same thing on the right. Well, by this cancellation property, it says when you have e raised to the log base e, whatever's inside, you're left with. So I'll have ln of x left on the left side equals e. And now I can just do this procedure one more time and take e, raise it to the ln of x. On the right, I'll now have e raised to the e. 
and this simply says on the left side e raised to the ln of x is x and on the right side well e raised to the e is e okay so kind of a funny looking number e raised to the e power but in this case that's going to be our solution All right, let's do uh let's keep going here. Suppose I have ln of 2x plus 1 equals 2 minus ln of x. A couple different ways that you could do this one. Um the way that I'm going to do this problem to start with is I'm going to get my natural logarithms on the same side. So I'm going to add the ln of x over to the left side and that's equal to 2 on the right side and now I'm going to use my properties of logarithms remember if you have a logarithm in addition in between you can rewrite that as multiplication so I'll have 2x plus 1 times what's inside the other logarithm which is simply x and that's equal to 2 on the right side now I'm going to do this cancellation law again I'll take the left side and raise it to the e power I'll do the same thing on the right side as well, so I'll get e squared. Well, again, on the left, this cancellation property, you'll simply be left with the quantity 2x plus 1 times x equal to e squared. And if we keep multiplying this out, on the left side, we'll get 2x squared. If I distribute the x, I'll get plus x equals e squared. And this is now a quadratic equation. I've got an x squared, um, I've got an x to the first power, and just a number floating around. So to solve quadratic equations, remember, we set those equal to zero and try to factor them. Maybe this one uh, factors pretty easily, but uh, I don't see it off the top of my head. So on this one, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. And in this case, a is equal to 2, b is equal to 1, c is going to be equal to negative e squared if you forgot the quadratic formula you can visit my website I've got some problems on there um, using the quadratic formula and it says the solutions to this equation will be x equals negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 2 times c, our negative e squared value the negative will make the term inside positive and I'll have e squared and that will all be divided by now 2 times 2 and I'm not going to simplify this one down any further um, you could just multiply this out obviously you're going to have kind of a weird number under the square root you could either put that into a calculator um, well let's go ahead and do it personally as a math person I usually I know it's going to approximate it so I would just leave it as 8 e squared over 2 times 2 which is 4 and that would be my final answer for this problem okay so just a few examples of using these cancellation laws to solve logarithmic um, and exponential equations definitely very 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 useful little property um, these two uh, these two rules you'll see them a whole lot um, when you deal with logarithms and exponentials um, and if you need to see the first part properties of logarithms talking about how logarithms kind of the algebraic rules for logarithms feel free to take a look at my website just mathtutoring.com um, and there's some more videos there that talk about logarithms if you have any questions feel free to send me an email and I'll be happy to get to it as soon as I can